Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set says that there were four children. They were asked to think of a four digit number each. They were then asked to put the last digit of the number in front and add the new number to the original number. For example, if a person thought of 3412, so they would put 2 here. So the number would become 2341 and added it becomes 5753. So like this, these four children added the numbers and they wrote down their results as these. Now it is given that one of them had written the wrong answer. So that is the information given to us. So this is a short and sweet te uh, set testing your number skills. Now we need to identify who wrote the wrong answer and then answer some of the other questions as well. So in order to attempt this question, let's go to the basics of numbers. So let us say the four digit number is of the format A, B, C, D. So this means it is 1000 times of A plus 100 times of B plus 10 times of C plus D. Okay. Now what happens is if we bring D this side, the number becomes D, A, B, C. So it becomes 1000 D plus 100 A plus 10B plus C. Now when we add these numbers, so we will get 1100A. If you add for B, we get 110B. If you add for C, you get 11C. And 1000 plus 1, 1001D. Now if you notice one thing, all these are multiples of 11. 1100, 110, 11 and 1001 is also 91 into 11. So the answer should be a multiple of 11. Now if you could think of this simple logic, which I guess is not easy to think, you can solve this puzzle. Otherwise, you will end up spending a lot of time still not able to figure out this answer. Okay. So we will check which of these is not a multiple of 11. So 6, 3 is 9, 8 plus 1 is 9. So this is a multiple of 11. 8, 13 and 2. 13 minus 2 is 11, which is a multiple of 11. So Harshit is also correct. Then we will come to Rahul. 7 plus 4 is 11, 8 plus 3 is 11. So three of them are correct. Ideally, yes should be the wrong one. So 6, 4, 10 and 2. Right. So this is not a multiple of 11. So using this logic, we figure out that Yash gave the wrong answer. Now there is one more question based on Yash. It says that the person who had written the wrong result realized that he had written one of the digits of the sum incorrectly. What minimum number should he add to the previous result to get the correct sum? Okay. Now he wrote the number 10524. So we will make it a multiple of 11 by adding the minimum number. So that means we will have to add the minimum to this number to the last digit itself because if we try to uh, change this digit, we will have to add a larger number. Okay. So we will make this a multiple of 11. Now this sum is 2 and this sum is 10. Okay. So uh, we know that uh, the number has to have uh, a multiple of 11. That means this sum should be 13 because 13 minus 2 will give us 11. So in order to make 13, we will add 3. So the number we will get is 10527. Now if you see this is 2, this is 13, right? So it is a multiple of 11. So we need to add a minimum of 3. So this is the answer to this question. Suppose we make a change in this digit. So in that case, we would have to have add 30. Okay, then, then only it would have become uh, or uh, like if you see this 10524, in this case, we would have to add a number here. That means we would have to add a two digit number. So we will add only in the last digit and hence the least number is three. Now let us answer the remaining questions. What is the smallest possible number thought by Aditya? Enter zero if Aditya wrote the wrong result. So we will not enter zero in any of these questions because we know that Yash has uh, given the wrong answer. So we will think of Aditya. Aditya gave the answer as 6831. Okay. Now we have to write four digit numbers. So let us say 
the smallest digit is 1 okay now if this is the digit in the second number a b c d a shifts to the second position so this should have been 1 okay now uh, the next thing that we will do is we will find out what could possibly come here right whether it will be 5 or 4 so if you think of uh, like adding 4 here okay uh, it is difficult to generate a carry of 1 because you cannot get 18 by sum of just 1 and you cannot get a sum 18. So this will definitely not be a carry here. So this digit is going to be 5. So 5 was the first digit here. That means 5 is the last digit here. Now 5, we need to generate 1. So 5 plus 6 is 1. That means this digit is 6. Now this 5 plus 6 is 11. So 1 carries 6, 1. It should be 1, 6. So 6 will come here. So check this sum. So 5 plus 6, 11, 1 carries 13, 1 carries 8 and this is the answer. So the smallest number you can write is 1665. What is the highest possible number thought by Harshit? Okay, so we will do the same activity. We will start here with 9. So the number is 12705. So let's say he took the digit 9 here. Okay. Now this digit will be 9. Now we know that definitely there is a carry from here because it is 7 as a result and we are adding 9 here. Okay, so that means there is a carry. That means this number will be 2 and we can have a carry of only 1. So this is 2. So the last digit will be 2. Okay, so 2 plus 3 is 5. So this digit is 3. 3 plus some digit ending in 0. So 3 plus 7 is 0. So this digit is 7. So add this 5, 3 plus 7 is 10, 1 carries, this is 17, 1 carries, so we get the result. So the highest number he can think of is 9732. Now we have to count for Rahul, how many numbers, different numbers Rahul could have thought of. So let's start with 1 and we will do the same thing that we did here. So Rahul the sum is 7, 8, 4, 3. Okay, so this is 1. Now we will not generate a carry because you cannot make it 18. So this is 6, 1 plus 6 is 7. Now this is 6, 6 plus 7 is 13, 1 will carry and this digit is 7, 7 and this has to make 14, so 6. So 1, 6, 7, 6 and if you see a 6 carried here, it becomes 6, 1, 6, 7, okay and uh, we will get this as the result. So 1, 6, 7, 6 is one answer. Okay, we have to count. We do not have to tell that what is the highest or lowest. Now, 6167 is not that number because when you bring 7 this side, it becomes something different and you will get 13,000. So, we will do with 2 and check. See, we could easily uh, say that it is 6, but we will have to check that if all things are falling in place. So, we will have to do some work here. Right, my guess would be 6 because if you add 1000, you will get something in 6000, 2000, 5000, 3000, 4000 and so on. You cannot make it 7000, but we will calculate to verify the result because there is a possibility that you may not end up getting the same sum. So let us check. So if you put 2 here, 2, 2, now 2 plus 5 is 7. Okay, so this will be 5. 5 plus 8 is 13. So this digit is 8. 8 and we have to make it 14. So 5. So 2585, five, that is the second number that we will get, okay. And then third number we can think of is, we'll start with 3. So 3 plus 4 will give us 7. So uh, this means 4 was the last digit here. 4 plus 9 is 13. So 9 is this digit. And we have to make it 14. 1 is already carried from here. So we will take 4. So 3494 four is the next number. Then we will look at the next number that starts with 4. So 4, 4 plus 3. So we will have 3 here and this gives us 0 here. Now this is 0, this digit is 0. So we will get 4403. Okay, 4403, that means 3 brought this side. So this sum is also satisfied. So we've got 4 such cases noted for. Next number we will start with 5 and check. So 5 plus 2 is 7. So we will have 2 here. 2 plus 1 is 3. 1. 1, 3, 4. So 3. So you can check. Again, it satisfies. Now we will check with 6. 
So this will be 6 and this is 1. Now this is 1, so 1 will be used here. 1 plus 2 is 3. This is 2. 2 plus 2 is 4. So 6, 2, 2, 1. Okay, so that is also satisfying. We cannot take this digit as 7 because if you take 7, you will have to make 7, 8, 4, 3. You will add 0. Uh, yes, we can think of 7 because it is not saying that... Uh, like it is not saying that the other number formed is also a four digit number. So yes, uh, you can think of seven also. So seven, if you take this will be seven and zero. So last digit would be zero, three and uh, three, one. And this is one, seven, one, three, zero. So even you can think of this also because it does not say, it does not say that the new number is also a four digit number, right? So we can take this case also, but you cannot take eight because if you take eight, then it is not possible. So we can think of seven numbers. This has to be a four digit number. So we cannot start with zero, but here we can start with seven. So we will have a total of seven cases. So this was the solution to the set and the answers to the questions.